Hey right, guys, uh, this is just a quick update uh, from me because um, I've got a bit of a day off for today. Um, uh, my daughter's just gone in into hospital to have uh, have a baby, grandchild number ten. So yeah, so fingers crossed. I shall have some news on that shortly, hopefully. So anyway, I've got a bit of extra bench time, so I thought I'd do a quick update on my uh, Band of Brothers build. So, this is the layout. The figures are all now finished. Um, the tanks have got to be a bit weathered, a bit dusted up, but not too much because obviously this is the base. I'll just back it off a little bit. Right, wrong way. This is the base. Um, this is it's going to depict um, Holland. This is the scene from uh, Operation Market Garden just after the uh, when they got to Eindhoven and they come through. You've got a woman here that was had her head shaved and you know other bits some head shaved and whatnot, and then was kicked out for um, collaborating, as they say. And she has a little baby with her, which is obviously the result of said collaboration. Anyway, you've then got the soldier here, the trooper here, giving her a box of rations. Um, so this is the, the scene being depicted here. Um, yeah, so back to this. But the, the, so the, the roadways, uh, as I've discovered in Holland, were slightly raised. So this is going to be a, a, like a tarmac road surface. Oh, he didn't want to be on the tank. Oh well, he's jumped off. He can come and stand here for a bit. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's going to be a, a tarmac roadway or that kind of stuff. This is going to be all grass. Um, the, I will make some, I've got some telegraph, well, I've got some. I'm going to make some telegraph poles to go on here, a couple of three telegraph poles. And then this is going to be grassed up. I'm going to get some static grass, possibly. Get one of them applicators, make it stand up. Um, so, yeah, so this is where I'm actually getting on with that. Um, there's not a lot, actually, I can say to this at the moment. But, uh, yeah, I mean, the figures took quite a lot of doing. The, the helmets have all, have all now been done. I don't know if you're going to see that. Let's bring some light. I've managed to do all the helmets. Um, it's it's ever so simple to get the netting on the helmets. Um, Cy Kemp uh, showed us on a, on a video of his. It's just so simple. Why I never thought of it is unbelievable. What I'll do is I'll put a link in the in the box below with the link to his video on how to put the net on helmets. It's excellent. Um, yeah, so there's not a lot else I can say to this, but I just thought I'd do a quick update. Um, I think as well, I mean, I've got a couple of Verlinden figures there and there, and um, I think they were the first Verlinden figures I've done, and I'll tell you what, the detail on them is brilliant. And then someone said to me, um, that you, you, never, you, could, you could never mix... The Verlinden figures with the styrene figures because the detail was much better on them and they stood out. But these master box figures that I've got here, the the quality on them is brilliant. You put them together side by side, not a problem whatsoever. They just seem to fit. I mean, I've got a couple of figures that I've changed the arms to for um, Tamiya arms. And I'm going to point it out because someone's bound to notice it. Probably won't even notice themselves, but... I do, but if you look, I mean this one here, because these two figures here are actually the same figure. But what I did was that's the original figure that came with the with the set, and then because I hadn't got a walking one, but I'd got a spare pair a set of um, the Tamiya. Um, oh, what figure? What, uh, US infantry figures, sorry, yeah, they were, and what I did was, I took off, I swapped the arm, the arm with the rations on, and I put a Tamiya arm on it, now, 
yes you can notice if you really looked at it you'd say oh it looks a bit fat but yes but I think when it's on the, on the, on a whole as a whole on the whole dio itself I don't think you'd notice um, there's a couple of uh, mini art figures the medic is a mini art figure and that one there is um, but uh, yeah I don't think I don't think you notice to be fair the Valindan figures stack up quite well against the mini art ones um, yeah what else can I say all the decals I've put all the decals on the arms again on the helmets you've got the screaming eagle on the helmets you've got the ace of spades the, the spades logo on both sides of the helmets the american uh, flag armband on and that one um, the tank crew oh no he didn't, he's drunk on the tank crew i got the archer fine detail I don't know what they call them uh, Archer fine transfers sorry um, I don't know if, if I can zoom in enough to see that there you go but yeah the armoured division the black ball badges on the uh, on the sleeves with the British tank corps badge and stuff on the sleeves not it's not important stuff that people would really notice, but I just thought, well, if I'm going to do it, let's just go for it and see what happens. I mean, the, the, the decals on the tanks have changed as well. They've got the black ball, the same as on the front of there. So, and the, 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 the green and blue with the number on, on the badges, those are the same ones as on the actual TV program as well, the Band of Brothers. So, yeah, so that's where I'm at with that. So now I'm going to start on this. I've got to PVA it. Then I'm going to fill it, cover it with some filler. And then start figuring out the, the road surface and other bits and bobs. So, yeah. You know, it's just starting to drag on now. It's seven minutes old or nearly eight minutes. So, I don't want to bore you too much. But that's where I'm at with me, Band of Brothers. Uh, homage to Band of Brothers. Not a group build, as I keep calling it. Although me and Sidecamp have been talking, but that's a long way off yet. So, yeah, anyway, my Band of Brothers uh, homage build, that's where I'm at with that. Right, guys, I'll catch you on the flip side. See you later, guys. Bye.